art journalist, this is Natalie from NK Design. Today I will be working with gelatos. The colors are inspired by a previous page. Not sure yet where I'm going, but I already picked out a quote. It's, if life was easy, where would all the adventures be? Um, I have not gessoed my page before, uh, because I want to write on the page before I gesso and it's easier on the pen. Um, I randomly write down the quote a couple of times, uh, some of the words. I'm not writing any neatly, I just want to create some texture that will shine through the color and the gesso. Now I don't want you to get bored watching me writing everything, so um, I'll see you back when I'm done. I'm ready to add some color. First I use the green, the blue and the yellow and then activate everything with water to blend it in and then I move on to pink once everything is dry. If you're wondering what the difference is between gelatos and neocolor 2s, yes they are both water soluble wax crayons but the gelatos are creamier, more buttery and you can blend them with your finger uh, without using water. You can't do that you can't do that with the Neo Color 2s. However, I think the Neo Color 2s last longer, you get more value for your money. So it just depends on what you prefer to use and what you can afford. I'm adding some gesso and use my brayer to distribute it over the page. another layer with my gelatos and then use again my, uh, my gesso. I just want to create a really soft, well blended background. repeat the process of adding colors with my gelatos, blending it with my water brush and adding some more gesso until I'm happy with the background. Moving on to the next layer, I now use some of my gelatos to add some random shapes onto the page and I blend them in with my finger. With my black Stabilo Oil, which is a water soluble pencil, I define the lines of the shapes and then use my wet brush to dissolve the pencil. I start lightly and then add more and more black um, because it's always easy to add but it's very hard to take away if it's too dark. With my white Posca marker I start adding some marks to the page just because it's fun and because I can. Once again I'm using my Stabilo O marker. Um, I wasn't too happy with the lines, I wanted it darker, so I'm going over it again. And then my 
my video card was full and because it was already late in the evening I had to fulfill my mama duties and start preparing dinner. So now the light is a little bit different and it is the next day but I'm continuing to art in my art journal. I'm much happier with the black lines now and I have the feeling at the beginning I didn't use the Stabilo all but my watercolor pencil. The Stabilo all is just more vibrant in color. I want to add some more doodles and marks so I picked up some of my paint markers. These are called painters and I believe they are from Elmer's, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and I'm just doodling until I'm happy. Oh and by the way, the black markers are actually Posca markers. I want to add a jumping figure to the page. I don't have anything like that in my um, stencil or stamp stash, so I am creating my own stencil. Now I am not very good at drawing, so what I need to do is I have to look um, online and see what I can find. But what I like to do to make it my own is I have a look at one and then close my computer take a piece of heavier cardstock paper and I start drawing. Now, the proportions of this figure are not completely correct, but you know what, I don't care. This is my version of it and um, I'm quite happy with how it turns out. happy with the figure I take out my cutting mat and my exacto knife and I start cutting it out. Now the fingers are a little bit tricky because they are so small but just take it slowly and be patient and it will work out quite well. I will be back when I'm done. And here she is all finished. I will also keep the mask maybe for another time. I'm getting my ceramic coat black and uh, a makeup sponge and stencil the jumping figure to my page. With my fine black Posca pen I correct some of the lines that didn't turn out quite well and I'm giving her some hair. With my white Uniball Signo pen I'm adding an outline. Now sometimes the pen doesn't work quite well and it clogs up a little bit. All you need to do is put the, tap in, the tip in your hand palm and warm it up. Usually that frees the paint um, and it flows quite well. Um, with, in my case I am afraid the pen is nearly empty so it's time to buy a new one. I think I'm ready to add the quote, but how? I have decided to stamp the quote on. Here I'm taking Dilution's alphabet and uh, the other one I will be using is uh, from Kaisercraft. I carefully lay out some of the words to see if they fit on the page 
and I also stamp them onto a piece of paper before I stamp it onto my page uh, just to see that I don't make any mistakes which in this case I did um, it doesn't say life it says jive uh, so I have to correct that and later on I discovered that it doesn't say adventure but adventure and I'm also missing the S so I'm editing a little bit out because you don't want to watch me um, stamping the entire quote onto the page so I'll see you back when I'm finished oh and uh, a quick note the alphabet of um, Kaisercraft has a lot of white space around the individual letters so I am stamping them individually so that I can determine how much space is in between the letters. It does take a little bit more time but it just looks neater. Because the alphabet does come with a question mark I add the question mark with my fine Posca marker. Adding the date stamp and I call this spread done. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy arting!